Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the tools and technologies that I personally use for developing full stack applications on top of the Cardano blockchain. Just so you know, my use case, I am a contract full stack Web3 developer. So I build clients a full stack application that includes taking their idea all the way into production and maintaining it. So we want to build a high quality full stack software application, but quickly. Clients want it in weeks instead of months, months instead of years. So we have to adopt our technologies to say, what can I lean into that's gonna get this done faster? If we have to pay more, that's okay. We just need it faster, fast. So those are the trade-offs I'm making. The first tool is gonna to be the Aiken smart contracting language. This is how we write our on-chain validators. So this is like the, the on-chain section of our application logic. Aiken is the smart contracting language we choose because it's a lot easier than writing uh, Haskell. It's a lot easier than writing some of the other um, more specialized languages in the ecosystem. The next tool we use is called Blockfrost. What Blockfrost does is they are a um, they run their own Cardano nodes and they expose an API for us to be able to read the state of the chain. So typically, if you want to make decisions based on what's on chain, what you need in order to do basically everything, you need to know what the chain, the state of the chain is in order to write applications, um, you'd have to run your own Cardano node, which is possible, it's feasible, but you're going to see that we are 100% serverless privilege of reading the chain. So they expose an HTTP API and we just read the information we need. The next tool we use for Cardano specific development is called the Mesh SDK. This is a JavaScript library that simplifies the development process for doing common things on Cardano, such as performing logic in the browser with browser wallets or building out transactions. I use this SDK on my server and I also use it on my client. I'm actually a contributor to this. I recently just solved a security vulnerability and had a PR merged into the main branch. And this one, it's a really good library run by a really talented developer. So I'm really optimistic on this project. I think Mesh SDK is probably going to be one of the most important JavaScript libraries in the Cardano ecosystem. Now, let's get on to the application logic side. We're moving away from blockchain specific development and more just general software engineering. I write full stack JavaScript. It's not optimal computationally. It's very slow language. There's a lot of reasons why you could say JavaScript is a bad language for server-side development. And you can bang out projects like that with JavaScript. So at least I can, I'm pretty comfortable with it. I write in a framework called SvelteKit, which is a framework for writing full stack web applications. So you write client-side code and you write server-side code in the same project framework. And then I just pull in NPM dependencies um, everywhere I need. I use the Node JavaScript runtime and here's where I host it. I host it on Vercel. When I'm building contracts for people, what you want, you have to make concessions. So one of the concessions I made is I lean into a platform that takes care of all the hosting problems for me. Um, and we pay them generously for it, right? We pay them generously. I'm not proud of Vercel, but it really is a nice platform to build with. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if you don't look at your cloud costs at the end of the month, Vercel is a dream. So the final technology that I use is Cloudflare. And I use this as like a serverless web application firewall. So this is how I mitigate DDoS attacks against the applications that I maintain. Um, if I see a DDoS attack coming, I just write IP rules that block the IPs or the range of IPs that are attacking um, our website. So that's the full stack that I use and it's been working super well for me. Um, if you have any questions about these tools and technologies, just reach out. I'm super open to talking. To, I'm super open to getting to know people in the ecosystem. So reach out to me either on my website, excess.software, or reach out to me personally at contact at excess.software. That's my email address. I'm also on LinkedIn and X. What you think, any issues you have, technologies you're wondering about. Or if you have um, a inquiry, you want to build something, I can build it for you, right? That's actually my entire business. So <laughs> yeah, reach out if that's the case for you. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.